All right, hey everyone, how's it going? Um, I feel pretty good, pretty good. Um, although I noticed in the morning, I was well, the past two mornings, I've kind of woken up with a bit of um, kind of like a sore throat. It feels kind of like um, I don't know. I, my mom described it like when I was a kid. If your throat was sore, like you had strep throat as a kid, it'd be like, does it feel like you have, like peanut butter in your throat? Um, so it kind of felt like that in the morning. So I downloaded the BC. Um, COVID support app, I think is what it's called. Uh, it's the official government of BC, uh, Vancouver, Coastal Health, all those people. Um, it's an app there and a little self-assessment. So even though they're, um, they, the symptoms that you kind of go through and they list out, they are definitely cleared in a note that even mild symptoms, um, you should, you know, if you have even mild version of those symptoms, like a sore throat, um, even a bit of um, loss of appetite, stuff like that, um, you know, they say, yeah, say if you even mild symptoms count as having those symptoms um, so yeah i did the self-assessment and yeah i said hey yeah maybe come in for a test you know hey bud you know maybe it's a good thing to do um and uh yeah and obviously i'm very uh trusting of the provincial uh, health authorities and what they're doing so uh so yeah that's what i'm gonna be, gonna be doing today uh there's a new testing site that has just opened up today as well um near vancouver community college you know the vcc vcc c BC Clark, BCC Clark, uh, Skytrain Station. Um, so actually, I'm just gonna bike over there, um, obviously though. So uh, yeah, I'm just kind of uh, see how that whole experience goes. Um, I'm not too feeling too anxious about it. Like honestly, I, I do feel like, mm, like again, I feel pretty much normal now, like as I, as usual. Um, basically, I'm hoping that this is kind of like, even though I feel like I'm probably all right. Um, you know, the app said get a test and also I thought it might be kind of interesting to share with you all like what the process is to get tested and, and kind of encouraging you know um, following the health authorities and even mild symptoms get a test you know why not you can help you help protect yourself and others your family community members all that stuff so important stuff to do and um, I don't think it's gonna be that bad at all so yeah well, let's go you got my uh, handy dandy Transing mass. Fresh out of the <laughs> fresh out of the laundry machine. Alright, almost there. Is this Are you here for a test? I am, yeah, yeah. I thought okay, I'd do so the right thing. It's a bicycle, it's not a car. It's a, yeah, it's so a, they would like you to go down the sidewalk carefully. Okay. And meet the security guard there, and there's a walk in process there. Got you, okay, cool. Um, he will ask you to, I think, uh, secure your bicycle. Have you got a lock? Yeah, do, do you, are there bike racks? Or? No, there aren't at the moment. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, we open today. Yeah, I sure, yeah. I'll talk if you better video. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll make sure the camera's off. Yeah, but, All right, so I just got the test done. Um, basically, yeah, it was all right. There's a lot of waiting. Um, waiting, and then they basically ask you some questions, uh, go over symptoms, and basically, um, <laughs> the nurse or someone, uh, it's just like it's like a, a Q-tip like this long, and then he kind of goes like up your nose, and then they kind of like wiggle it around a little bit, like 10 seconds, and it just kind of like feels like, she described it as like having a lot of wasabi, which is pretty accurate, or like, um, have like water up your nose, so I was like mildly uncomfortable, but like you know, my eyes watered like a little bit. I just like you know, you just walk away feeling pretty normal, I would say. So really not a bit, really not that bad of a process. Um, the worst was really just having to wait, wait for them to um, ask you their questions and stuff. It was like a bit of a line, but not really too bad. So I would say, yeah, overall good experience. Um, yeah, I'd recommend it, maybe. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. So the results came in about, I would say maybe 24 hours later. Uh, I subscribed for the text uh, notification, the text results. 
And uh, yeah, they came in, they came back negative. So overall, that was kind of, um, yeah, an interesting experience. The, the test itself was not too bad. Again, it was kind of the waiting that was the main problem there. But I think they just had some technical issues with their computer system. And I think, uh, I imagine in the future, the wait should not be nearly as bad. And again, the test itself was not, did not hurt, I would say, just mildly uncomfortable. Uh, and uh, yeah, so yeah, I definitely encourage you. Um, I'm, this is just me uh, going through the, the COVID um, support app and they have a, a little bit of a quiz or a test uh, to ask you some questions to, to, to determine if you should get it tested or not. Uh, and basically, yeah, if you have even the minor symptoms, get a test. That's it's really important to uh, get that when you have any bit of symptoms. Um, testing is free. You get your results quite quickly. Um, and really, it's the right thing to do. So yeah, uh, th thanks again for, for watching uh, the video. And I really hope this was helpful for you if uh, just to encourage or normalize um, all this stuff. I think it is really important that we don't have much of a stigma and we understand that we are in a global pandemic and people are going to get sick. And if you have any symptoms uh, that might be related to COVID-19, then yes, definitely um, get a test. Uh, the app has even a uh, place to find your local testing center and all that good stuff. So yeah, once again, thank you for watching. And I really appreciate all of you who are uh, doing your best, you know, even though we are imperfect, uh, but doing your best to um, make sure that we can um, all navigate this uh, successfully and, and healthily um, in, in a way that we uh, would want. Um, yeah, what we want for others as well. So once again, thank you so much. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, like and subscribe, all that good stuff as well. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.